Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers from the Works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today's subject is Tapasya, Part 3, from Sri Aurobindo. When it burns in the heart, it is the fire in the psychic. The psychic fire is individual and takes usually the form of a fire of aspiration or personal tapasya. This fire is universal and it came from above. The psychic fire may burn in the vital. It all depends on whether it is the fire of the general force that comes from above or the fire of your soul's aspiration and tapasya. Knowledge and tapasya, whatever their force, have a less sustaining power. Faith is the strongest staff for the journey. The protection is there over you and the watchful love of the mother. Rely upon it and let your being open more and more to it. Then it will repel attacks and always uphold you. 8th October 1936 All can be done by the Divine, the heart and nature purified, the inner consciousness awakened, the veils removed. If one gives oneself to the Divine with trust, and confidence, and even if one cannot do so fully at once, yet the more one does so, the more the inner help and guidance comes, and the contact and the experience of the divine grows within. If the questioning mind becomes less active, and humility and the will to surrender grow in you, this ought to be perfectly possible. No other strength and tapasya are then needed, but this alone. In some sadhanas, the divine action is not recognized. All must be done by tapasya. In most, there is a mixing of the two. The tapasya finally calling the direct help and intervention. The idea and experience of the divine doing all belongs to the yogas based on surrender. It, the idea that the sadhana is done by the divine rather than by oneself, is a truth, but a truth that does not become effective for the consciousness until or in proportion as it is realized. The people who stagnate because of it are those who accept the idea but do not realize. So they have neither the force of tapasya nor that of the divine grace. On the other hand, those who can realize it feel even behind their tapasya and in it the action of the divine force. From the Mother Sri Aurobindo says here, The aspiration and tapasya needed are too constant. Yes, one cannot do the yoga if one does not take it seriously. For one must be very serious to have a constant aspiration and do tapasya. If one is not serious, for five minutes one has an aspiration and for ten hours one hasn't. For one day there is a great urge and for a month nothing and so on. Well, one can't do yoga in these conditions. It must be a continuous constant thing which does not flag. 
if one forgets or slackens, one cannot do yoga. What is the true meaning of tapasya? Tapasya is the discipline one imposes upon oneself to arrive at the discovery of the divine. Are tapasya and aspiration the same thing? No, you cannot do tapasya without aspiration. Aspiration is first, the will to attain something. Tapasya is the process. There is indeed a process, a method.